are you limiting yourself from getting what you want because you're so afraid of getting what you don't want? Stay tuned. This is Damon Cart from NLP Gym. NLP Mindset, embrace life rather than avoid life. If you haven't already, please click subscribe to this YouTube channel so you can get these videos on a regular basis. Are you avoiding life? Are you so focused on the problems and the feelings that you don't want that you can't enjoy life to the fullest? Are you so concerned about things not going your way that you don't even try? Are you a perfectionist? Do you not want to try things because you're afraid they won't live up to your standard and they won't be perfect, they, they won't be the exact thing that you want? I'm always amazed at how hard people will work to avoid what they don't want. And if they took a fraction of that effort and put it into something they do want, into investing in something that they do want, they might just live their life to the fullest. Embracing life means not only receiving the wonderful things that life has to offer, it's also accepting the things about life that you don't like. At some point you made a decision. You either decided to avoid discomfort as much as possible and move toward comfort as much as possible, even to the point of trying to avoid problems so much that you sacrifice all the good parts of life. Or you made the decision to embrace life and all of its imperfections and all of the parts that you don't like so that you could also experience the great and wonderful things life has to offer. No matter who you are, we're all on this spectrum of how much discomfort are we, willing, are we willing to endure in order to enjoy life to the fullest and get what we want out of life. Either extreme is not ideal. There are many cases of the life unlived because of the fear of risk and the fear of discomfort and the moving into as much, trying to secure the, a person's life as much as possible. Then there's the other extreme where it was the live fast, live too hard, take too many risks and the, the misadventure that goes with that. In my experience, as far as the people who I encounter most, most people are on the side of avoiding life more. They're so concerned about losing something that they're not willing to put themselves out there. And many of these people are the same people who complain that life isn't giving them what they want. And they haven't realized that they actually made a deliberate choice. And that's what they chose. And that's why life is seemingly not giving them what they want. The truth is, you don't deserve the rewards in life if you're not willing to take the risk, you're not willing to do the work, and you're not willing to endure the things that aren't so good when you get what you want. Because we often do get what we want. It just, often people say, well, careful what you wish for. You just may get it. What they're really saying is, is that, yeah, sometimes I get what I want. I didn't expect there, there, that there would be negative things. Because in my fantasy, when I got what I wanted in my fantasy, there was nothing negative about it. It was perfect. There was no discomfort. That's not life. Life is always going to have parts about it that you don't like, even when you get what you want. And if you're not willing to accept that, you're not going to get what you want. Avoiding and embracing life, these are two different directions to focus your attention on. You can decide right now, no matter what you've decided in the past, you can decide right now to embrace life, to accept all the parts of it that you don't like, not to focus on the parts that you don't like, but to accept it and move forward and embrace all parts of it, the not so good and the great and the wonderful, and put your focus and your attention on what it is you want and all the good stuff while accepting the not so good stuff. Be careful to not to glorify suffering. Don't uh, put yourself on a pedestal because you're experiencing discomfort or you're working really hard or you're experiencing some sort of suffering. There's no point in imposing needless suffering and discomfort on yourself because you think that's the way to getting what you want. It's actually not. There's also this mindset of demanding from life because you've suffered or because you have some sort of discomfort. Life doesn't owe you anything. And if you have that mindset and you believe that life owes you something, you're gonna make, that's gonna ensure that you don't get what you want. 
Make this a practice. When you come to a decision, ask yourself, am I moving toward embracing life by making one particular decision, or am I moving toward avoiding life? Usually, the decision where you're embracing life the most is going to be the best decision in most cases. Join us in 2017 for NLP Gym's Ultimate Practitioner Training. If you're a beginner and you've never had any NLP training, this is the training for you. This is how to master NLP in order to master your life. If you've had NLP training and you feel like you haven't quite gotten into the muscle word, it is not quite second nature for you yet, this is also the training for you. Check out our website, nlp-gym.com. There you can sign up for the Ultimate Practitioner Training. This is the most comprehensive training for the least amount of money possible that you will find anywhere in this country with the most talented teachers. Follow us on Facebook for real-time updates on upcoming workshops and free practice sessions that I hold right here in Santa Cruz. If you like this video, please click like right down here and leave me a comment or a question. I will follow up with you. Stay tuned to the end of this video so you can see how you can get your hands on a free NLP online training. Take care.